Hey everyone, today we're diving into one of the most exciting advancements in AI yet, Anthropic's new computer use capability. This feature lets their clawed AI operate a computer just like a human would, navigating through screens, clicking buttons, typing text, and more. And today we're going to put it to the ultimate test with three challenging tasks. Here's what we're going to ask Claude to do. Research the news and write a YouTube script. We'll see if it can gather the latest information and actually put together a script for us. Code the classic Tetris game in Python and test it. Can Claude handle the intricacies of coding and debugging a game? Code the snake game in Python and test it. Finally, we'll check if it can create and run another popular game from scratch. First, we need to install Docker and a Git client if you do not have them installed. I will leave the download links on the video description once installed. Open a command prompt and type the command to clone and download the code from GitHub. You will see the progress as the code downloads in a new folder. Once the code download is completed, change the directory using CD Anthropic Quick Starts Computer Use Demo. Let's check that Docker Desktop is installed. Open a command prompt and type Docker version. Docker should respond with the current software version. If it does not, check your installation now on the command prompt. Type the command to launch computer use. I will leave the command on the video description for you. On the first run, you will see it download the Docker container and any other required files. On the next run, computer use will launch and display the page where you can interact with the agent. This URL that contains localhost. Enver is the page you will have to open on an internet browser to access the computer use web page. You can either copy the URL into the browser or hold the key control and click the address. It will open on your default browser. And the page has a chat with Claude where you can provide it instructions and a screen of the Docker console where you can see the actions taken by the agent. Let's ask it for a simple task. Search the internet for Anthropic Computer Use Model using Firefox. Collect the most relevant top five articles using Firefox and compose a YouTube video script in library office with a hook and a personal tone. Sign it the best AI. As you type this into the chat window, you'll see that Claude is taking screenshots and executing each step. I'm not touching the computer. It's Claude taking actions. It opens Firefox, skip past the dialog boxes, and heads straight into the address bar. And then it performs a search. And once it finds the articles, it switches over to LibreOffice, opens the word processor, and pastes the information into a script draft. And there it is a full draft complete with the sign off the best AI. The formatting may not be perfect, but it's still a pretty solid start. Feeling adventurous? Let's step it up a notch and see if Claude can code a simple game. I've always wanted to test its coding abilities in computer use. So let's ask it to create a Tetris game in Python, complete, playable with functionalities. Within seconds, the agent is off to work, installing Pygame and other necessary packages. I've got to say, it's, it's impressively quick. But once, the game, but once the game loads, I notice a small issue. The game doesn't seem to end when the blocks reach the top. So I ask Claude to debug and fix the game over bug. So let's type it in. It doesn't seem to end. Claude jumps back into the code, identifies the issue, and updates the logic, improving the game to ensure the game ends properly. Now, if you want to interact with the game yourself, you can click over here on the top right corner where it says a screen control. Once you click it, it starts uh, giving me access to the controls so I can play the game. The controls feel smooth and the game mechanics worth as suspected. So this is a total success. Now let's try another classic. Let's ask Claude to write the snake game. I just type in the request for Claude to code a Python snake game. I also ask it to show me the code before I run it, just to get a peek of how it handles things. I suspected it installs Pygame again writes out the game and runs it. Let me enable the screen control over here. And yeah, I'm able to jump right into playing the snake game. This is smooth and runs just like the classic game we all know. Watching Claude handle this task 
autonomously is amazing. It's not only functional, but also very efficient at executing complex instructions. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on AI.